spacecraft test conductor for the lunar module reported that Eagle was go. The swing arm now coming back to its fully retracted position as our countdown continues. Last month, I went to the Apollo 50 celebration in DC, and it was amazing. I was able to talk to some pretty epic companies, and at the end of the day, I was able to watch the Saturn V projection. The entire rocket was projected onto the Washington Monument, and at some points, if you looked at it just right, it appeared as if the rocket was actually there. And, after a pretty amazing speech by President Kennedy, Airplanes became available. Only last week did we develop penicillin, and television, and nuclear power. And now, if America's new spacecraft succeeds, we will have literally reached the stars before midnight tonight. Pretty cool. After the show, I was able to pick out some souvenirs. I got two Metal Earth kits. One of them was a Saturn V rocket, and the other one was the Lunar Landing Launcher. Those are actually what the video is about, but I got pretty distracted from making it. So yeah, here they are. I was able to build the Saturn V rocket super fast, but I wanted to show what it was like to build one of these. So I saved the Lunar Landing Module until later. And here's what it's like to build one of these things. Taking the parts out like this was super slow and super painful. It had been like two hours and I just finished this menu task. Building it would take about triple the time. Anyway, I persevered through and was able to finish build that day. Alright, please enjoy this epic build compilation. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago? Why the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. If I would say, my fellow citizens, we shall send to the moon 240,000 miles away from the control station in Houston. A giant rocket, more than 300 feet tall, made of new metal alloys, some of which have not yet been invented. Fitted together with a precision better than the finest watch, carrying all the equipment needed for propulsion, guidance, control, communication, on an untried mission to an unknown celestial body, and then return it safely to Earth, re-entering the atmosphere at speeds of over 25,000 miles per hour, causing heat about half that of the temperature of the sun, almost as hot as it is here today, and do all this, and do all this, and do it right, and do it first, before this dictator's out, and we must be home.